Hello. So today I'm going to show you how to build this custom component in less than five minutes using the powerful combo of Flow Builder and the Avenue Flow Screens component library. So as you can see on this example, I have this barcode component that is tied to the product page, record page, and it's also tied to the product code. So if I'm changing the code of the product, it will automatically change the barcode generated here. So that's what I'm going to show you today, how to build that flow. So the first step, we need to create a new flow and to create a screen flow. The first step here we need to do, uh, it's really to generate a barcode in Salesforce we first need to create a variable for the record ID. And this variable will act like, uh, you know, our anchor to really ensure that the barcode is really uniquely tied to the record ID. So new resource variable record ID text and make this variable available for input. Next, we need to create a get record collection, get record element to fetch the information from Salesforce. So let's say get product. And here I want to fetch only the specific product I am on the page. So here, let's say object product. And here filter product record, I really want to filter by a specific product. And for the condition, I need to add for the field product ID would be equal to the variable, the record ID variable that is generated by Salesforce. Done. So here I just created the get record element to fetch or to ask Salesforce to fetch the specific product information based on the condition I just set up. Now, now Let's add a screen element. And this is where the Avoni Flow Screens component library comes into play. So screen for the label. And I want this screen to act like a custom component. So I don't want this. I don't want a footer either. And now, because I just installed the Avoni Flow Screens component manage package, all the Avoni components are there available natively inside Flow Builder. So the first component I want to drag, it's the Avony header to create a consistent look and feel for my component. Header, open component builder to access all the Avony header properties. <laughs> Product bar code, that's the title. You can even add a caption. Look and feel is joined to have like this little border pull to boundary. Avatar, we can add an icon. Let's add this icon right there. So I just set up my header. And again, from the screen element, the next component I'm going to add, it's the Avony barcode component. So that's where it will generate the barcode here. So barcode, open component builder. So the barcode I want to be generated will be based on the value. And the value should be and will be dynamic based on the specific record ID I'm on the page. So here, instead of typing the value manually, I can click here, mapped, and map that value to any specific fields from the product page. So I have my get product uh, get record element. And here I can say, okay, generate the barcode for the product code field. Barcode type, as you can see, we support all type of barcode. Choose the one you need to use. For this example, I will use this one code 128 to generate the barcode. Okay, so the barcode will be generated based on the value I have on, on the product code field. If you want, you can also um, customize the look and feel barcode, uh, back, background color, color, text color for the barcode. Done. And save. 
now I'm pretty much done. Okay. Saving the flow, activate that flow. So now the next step will be to add this flow on the record page. Let's do that. So from this record page, the product record page, I want to add my custom component, which is a flow, right here. So for that, I need to go on the app builder, edit page. And from the app builder, I just need to drag the flow component. And then from there, I will just associate the correct flow. One extremely important step here, it's really to check this pass record ID into this variable. Otherwise, it won't work. So you need to make sure that you're passing the current record ID variable into the flow. Save. And let's get back to the page to see the final result. Boom, it's there product barcode with the current barcode generated. If I'm changing or editing the barcode, let's say, okay, let's do this one, two, save. It will automatically refresh the barcode based on the correct, the current value on the page. So that's pretty much done. In less than five minutes, I just created this barcode generator on my product page. And you can follow this exact same step to reproduce this for any of the objects you have on Salesforce to generate a barcode. That's how you can use the Avoni barcode component into your flow. If you have any question, comment, or feedback, leave it in the comment below. Thank you.